Hi, Internet. It's been a while, but Leon's back. Uh, had a rough couple of weeks, so I haven't really been able to get a whole lot in. But you know what? Uh, I have a moment to, you know, get some more content in. And honestly, I've missed, you know, streaming. So enough about all that. I'm sure most of you probably aren't here to hear me complain about, uh, you know, my uh, life at work and the other, other stuff, I hope. So, I'm going to dip right back into Stanley Parable. Uh, as you might see, I just downloaded the Fire Emblem, Three Warrior, Fire Emblem Warriors 3 Hopes excuse me, uh, demo. Probably play that later. But for now, I'm just going to uh, knock out the rest of the endings here. Going to just do kind of the rest of the stuff that there is for uh, Stanley Parable. I'm not going to do everything, but... Uh, most of the major stuff, I, I feel like I could probably just tackle out, knock out right now. I can't talk, apparently, which is, you know, par for the course for me, but just going to jump right back in. Uh, what is current time? It is 7... 30... It's about to be 38. Oh, it is 38. There we go. Uh, hi. Um, yes, well, I guess we c you can say something. Go ahead. <laughs> Thank you for actually setting my box. <laughs> I miss this game. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> I you you know what I believe that I really do. Well, well, thank you. <laughs> I I should hope I'm paying attention. I uh, that's yeah. Uh, uh, okay, hit me. Next time you boot up the game, just set the clock to your favorite time. Uh, alrighty then. I'll just do that, I guess. Thank you. Well, that was an experience already, and we're not even in the game yet. <laughs> the Stanley Parable 2. Alright, so from where we left off, if I remember correctly, I think I said we had like 10 endings left. And one I want to save for the very, very last thing I do. Uh, and one... This is the story of a man named Stanley. Should I change it? Stanley anything? worked for a no, company... No, still the same. Okay. Uh, one I want to save for the very, very end, and there's one that is the quote-unquote epilogue. So, uh, before we get to those... We're going to go ahead and do a uh, thing I've been wanting to do for a while, but we're going to just do a randomly spin a wheel to decide what's going to be next. So, uh, out of everything else that I put in here, let's see what we get. I hope that's not too loud. Alright, the next one I'm going for apparently is the work ending. And put that away. All right, so from here, the work ending. Oh, the Sharpie's gone. Oh, wait, nope, there it is. Okay. Uh, work ending. Oh, okay, I know where that is. Onward. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Bucket! I've memory. missed you, Bucket. I really have. I can't take you with me this time, though. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not hmm. the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. But yeah, uh, Perhaps he last to couple weeks kind of been kicking my butt. Just to admire it. And so tired. <sighs> Yes. There's a few Truly times, like, you know, even during the days I say I usually am going to stream, I just couldn't. Stanley took the first open door I was just so tired life. between work and life, and I don't know, just... 
Stanley everything was hurts. so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. Have I'm we? Not your enemy, really, I'm not. Oh, okay. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult. Yeah. But the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. I mean, I was talking over There's it. someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Oh, really? Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. No. I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. And who is her? This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. Oh boy. She's been waiting. Oh boy. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. Okay. Hello? Hello? Oh, Stanley, is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. All right. Okay, there we go. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me oh, all you sound very cute. Doing. Uh, okay then. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? Who'd want to commit their life to you? I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. No, I'm gonna go down the hall. Sorry, but you're in my story now. Well, narrator's pissed. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just open every other door. I'm sure my neighbors will love that. And I'll have you know I have a loving wife. Thank you. And she actually has her own streaming channel. Zora's Fate. Go check it out. Alright, I guess I'll go inside. This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. Wait, what? No. No. Uh, I don't think I can fight it. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him. And everybody well, Justin, uh, whenever you watch this, this is one of the endings where uh, of narrator existence. just gets his revenge on you. Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Yeah. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Oh, no. Now oh. he's going home. No, um, he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. Uh, let me out. But in his mind, ah. In his mind, he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Fantastic discoveries hey, wait a minute. of new lands. It was we don't even have an oven. And each day that he returned to work, how are you pulling a bread out of the oven when there's no oven? To him. I mean, I guess that could be it, technically. Well, yeah, I guess that's it, actually. I've just, I guess I haven't seen an oven that has, like, two little side things. Watch TV! Okay. And so he began to fantasize about his own job. I love First, this channel. imagine that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss... Everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. Uh oh. The I think the signal's excited out. Excited him terribly. <laughs> to spend time with the boys. Uh, which ones? So he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely. Uh, yeah, even except I'm stuck. Behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was Help. almost too wonderful to behold. Help. Uh, sure. As he wandered through oh, this fantasy world, he began to uh -oh. fill it with many possible paths. Am I going crazy again? Down one Help. path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. 
I don't down think I'm getting any help. Down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions, and down another was a game with a baby. Oh God, yeah, and the four-hour game with the, the baby. Parable. Again, I'll do it if I had a hundred followers of subscribers on YouTube and uh, Twitch, but that's I'm gonna need I'm gonna need you know some serious motivation for that. Uh, was it push up to tell your kids a story? Uh, once upon a time, something happened. The end. It was such a wonderful fantasy, and so in his head, he relived it again, and then again, and again, over and over. Why can't I get to the door? That never end, that he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? I mean, we Perhaps got like... he played just one more time. Seven more. Press white to tell your wife that you love her. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, mannequin, but my actual wife is at work right now. But uh, whenever you watch this, sweetie, hi, sweetie, I love you. But there is no answer. Oh shit! How could there possibly be? Mannequin's In reality, weird. all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Uh, this Nothing is not good changed. interior design, the he spends sir. Here, the more invested he gets, the more he uh, forgets. You, you which can't. How are you even supposed one. to get to the door without climbing on shit? Go to sleep. Uh. Sure. And I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. Let me but out. As long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. Ah. He won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here. Can't watch stop. This. Might not Stanley, stop. The next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. But here's the problem because we're already not listening to him as it is. So if I do it, that proves that if I push a button that I'm listening to this, which I lose. And then if I if I don't do it, I'm listening to him, which means I lose. There's no right answer. Ugh. You see? Can he just not hear me? Let How me can out. Him in a way that he'll understand that every second Let he me out. he's electing to kill himself. How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look can at I himself? Help. Okay. Question nothing. I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. <sighs> but I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose. The same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll Let try me. once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled yeah. to. I yeah. must. Yeah. Perhaps. Let. Well, maybe this time me. you'll see. Out. Maybe this time. Please. And I tried uh. again. No. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again. No. And Stanley pushed a button. No. And I tried. Well. I guess we literally worked ourselves to death. The end is never the end. Alrighty. So. That's that ending down. Now we just got nine more. Alright, let's see what we go for next. Do, 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 do. Wheel says... Nah, I can take that off in a second. The choice ending. Oh, okay. I know which one that is. Get rid of you. Get rid of choice. Alright, so from here... Uh, it's the other way. Got it. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting. Fuck room. it! I love you. I can't bring you with me this time, though. Now we're listening to the wheel, I guess. Still a better choice than the narrator. When Stanley came <laughs> to a <laughs> set of <laughs> two <laughs> open doors. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Or, you know, something. Wow. Yes. This room. Yep. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Now, you see, you say that. 
But, uh, nah. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I mean, I only have two. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Oh, really? Someone you've forgotten about. Mm -hmm. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm Never! Asking I'm asking for her. Yeah, you see, you say that, but this we already know where that path goes. Your chance to redeem yourself. No. To put your work aside. Nah. To let her back into your life. Eh. She's been waiting. I'm sure she has. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. Now, you see, we already picked up the phone just a little bit ago. We, we saw how that went. As Stanley picked up the phone, I'm pull out the, the plug. light engulfed him, filling him not just with radiance, but with hope. Hope for a life reunited one... Wait. Oh, goodness. Yep. Stanley, did you just unplug the phone? Like 30 seconds no, ago. No, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? Felt you like actually it. chose incorrectly. I didn't even know that was possible. We've been doing that the whole game. Check. What do you mean? No, it's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. I mean, I could try. To his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. That is not what happened. In, fate to white, roll credits. That not is not what happened, sir. It's actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? Life. None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. Also life. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. Why? How had I not noticed it sooner? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. Ah, shit. <sighs> well, cover's I can't blown. I believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. Too late you now. Any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. Sure. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't it's have called apathy. I just didn't watch. care. <laughs> I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you <coughs> properly Excuse on me. safe decision making in the real world. Oh, Please boy. observe this helpful instructional video. Is it horribly outdated? Choice. It's the best part of being a real person. Sounds like it's horribly outdated. But if used incorrectly, can also be the most dangerous. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Rupert has a choice. That sounds he like an oxymoron. He could a machine that eliminates food shortages across the world to make life better for all people. Or he could spend years of hard work forgetting how to read. Which choice would you make? <laughs> Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense. And at no time Bullshit. should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself... Uh, sir, the 2 plus 2 equals fish. Sense, in all likelihood, that Everyone person knows is not that. real. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse thought. why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, My goodness... Is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. Uh, joke about 4.20. Nice sack. Nailed it. Excellent. Making choices on a regular basis is the best part to a healthy decision-making process. Um, Most medical professionals this man must be recommend from Florida. making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? And finally... If you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, no. just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your <laughs> thoughts and problems are materially insignificant. Yep. And the feeling should subside. Pretty much. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Oh, boy. Ah, oh, Jesus. Welcome back. You may have noticed uh, that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. Yeah, we could probably buff that out. Worry. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. Da da danger everywhere. Um, yeah. Um. 
Yep, it sure is. Was it just that room that deteriorated? I guess. Really? Safety rails? Now that we know your choices are meaningful, we can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. Why not? Imagine the main character dying senselessly halfway through the story. Goku story dies in the first, like, what, all. ten episodes of DBZ? As soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. And that's still, like, one of the biggest stories in the whole world. This place is not well equipped to deal with reality. Uh. Oh, and they took out the board. I can't actually follow my death now. Boo! Do not lie. If you are lying right now, stop. Well, I'm not lying, so I guess I'll keep moving. Almost there. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending, the story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. Uh, I somehow don't think that's what's going to happen. Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. But Stanley would just sit in his office pushing the buttons. It's not until I took over that he finally would move or do anything else. I'm still not listening to you, though. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. Uh, like I said, I kind of doubt that. Oh, it's ruined. You, I can't believe, after everything we talked about, that you... My story, you've destroyed my work. Yep. Why? For what? What did you get out of that? Wait, what who the hell is Chris so and what is he doing in my broom closet? Undone, left here like so much garbage. It, well, it's worth this now. And what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now... The future was yesterday, tomorrow to is now. I can't erase that knowledge. <laughs> I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. I couldn't live that way. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To willingly destroy sure. all of my work? I don't know. What's the answer? What do I do? What do I do? What do I... No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. No. I have to. No. I have to. No. Hi, I'm back. Still here, here in this pile of rubbish, with you. Hi. You, who thought you were so clever. Yeah, sometimes. Now look where we are. My entire game is destroyed. It was the only thing in the world that was mine, and you run it into the ground. Yep. What did you think that would be funny? Kind of. You just had to see. Sure. Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? Uh, he actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. <laughs> That thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? Oh, no, it did. That there's a world outside of you. You're a child. Yeah, sometimes. Oh. I That's mean, I was story. actually a child at one point, a long time if ago. If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. Uh, sir, as so a matter perfect. of fact, we did I that. I so hard on it. I tried so hard I don't to know. So Somewhere in this area. Is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. Uh, right. I guess I have to actually <clears> listen <throat> then. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Fine. But I'm doing it backwards.
Eh, I can't see what's on that screen, if anything. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley Seriously, who is this Chris and why is he office, in my broom closet? Find an answer there. <laughs> I hear someone to synergize papers. Papers are too synergized, fire paper guy. Hire somebody to fire the paper synergizing guy. <laughs> yeah, that, that sounds about right. Wait, no! Why is it locked? It's not even boarded up, it's just locked. Chris! Are you in there? Whoever you are, you get out of my broom closet! I'll come back for you. What are we doing? Coming to a staircase, Oh, I can't even go downstairs. Ugh, <laughs> uh, fine. I guess now we just gotta listen. I'm still gonna try everything, though. Uh, that's not how this looks. I wonder if I can break the door still. It's looking like no. God damn it. Stepping inside the manager's office, God damn it, Stanley seriously. was once again stunned to discover <sighs> not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers Please to his questions. Into the receiver. Oh. And beyond all probability, <clears throat> clearly into the, the receiver. Code, he had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up, but <clears throat> now he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. He drew a sharp breath and then spoke the code. Let me in. Open says me. <clears throat> Stanley spoke the code. Night Shark 115. He spoke it into the receiver right there on the wall. I mean, unless there's somewhere else I'm supposed to go. I'm sorry, is there a problem? It, yeah. You didn't mishear me, did you? No. Please speak the code into the receiver. Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial step. Don't you have, like, divine administration powers here? Just let me in. Okay, fine. You're not going to do it. But you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one single thing. No, you didn't. Respect. The kind of respect Stanley shows for his You've choices. asked me to go through he one door and another door. Story seriously. If you didn't want to see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. Why did you come this way? Speak. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. You... Uh-oh. I think we broke reality. Yeah, we broke reality again. Open doors. He entered the door on his left. Am I just stuck up here? Can I fall anywhere? Hello? Hello. Is everything okay? No. Stanley, please. I I broke I reality again for like the uh I need you to walk through the door. Are you listening? I don't know. Me? However many times it's been. <laughs> is everything all right? Oh hey, ending credits. There's still the six more. You. It needs you to make a Actually there's still eight it more. Cannot but... exist without you. Do you understand me? Uh... Whatever choice you make is just fine. They're both correct. You cannot be wrong here. We can work together. I'll accept whatever you do. I simply need you to take that step forward, please. Choose. No. Do something. Anything. This is more important than you can ever ah. know. There you go, I burped. I that is something. I need to. So, you hear me? I guess. Are you there? No. Are you listening to this? Stand sure. Yeah. Okay. It's okay. I can wait. You need time to decide. Time to make sure your choice is correct. That is the best choice. Go 
That's all right. I'll wait for you to decide what's the right thing to do. Take as much time as you need. Sorry, I wasn't listening. What are we doing? All right. Yeah, that, that sounds about right. <laughs> All right. Well, that's another ending down. <laughs> All righty. Let's see where else we're going. Pause that. All right. Next, we're going to do... Out of map with bucket. Okay. Now, supposedly you're supposed to be able to do this, but I think I tried before and wasn't able to get it to work, so we'll see how well that works this time. All of his co So there's the out of map, is that window over there. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps I feel like... simply missed a memo. I feel like when I tried to, when I picked up the bucket, I got stuck here, like the door closed. Actually, hold on, let me, let me double check, make sure this is even possible. Do, 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 do. Okay, but how do I do it with the bucket? I guess the door should just stay open. It takes a lot of humility to oh. carry a bucket so magnificent. Stanley checked his ego and then proceeded onward. Okay, well, I don't know why the door shut that one time then, but um, here we go, I guess. Oh, you know what? That was probably the ending with uh, that when I had gotten all the figurines. Okay, well, here we go. Stanley clung the bucket to his cheek. Could his co-workers really all be gone? Well, it wouldn't surprise me. Let me up. Yes, whispered the bucket into Stanley's ear. We've done it. We've escaped from that dull office and that pesky narrator. At last, out here in the white void, we are alone. Yeah, now, I... and for the first time, I can reveal to you my true self. Oh, really? The bucket began to tell Stanley of its life and its history. All right. Of the countless wars it witnessed. Desecrating the land and lives of untold numbers of innocent humans, and the bucket's own complicity therein, of sadness and regret, and the many years it spent dwelling on the actions it might have taken to curb the madness and the decay, oh, yeah. if only it had been stronger, of hope and redemption, and its crusade to uplift the stock of life for the common man, to manifest justice where none existed, and the bittersweet reality of time to see one's dreams and wishes met halfway, yeah. meted out in parcels like charity, and abandoned as soon as the warm glow of inspiration begins to dim. The opportunities to do so much more. There was so much it could have done, perhaps, the bucket wondered to itself, perhaps if it had seen its own darkness with a clearer perception. This was way too much for Stanley. What are you talking about? He screamed. You're a bucket! To this, the bucket furrowed its brow. No, said the bucket. 
Not since the evil wizard Gambhorata first ensnared me in his machinations as payback for the sacred amulet I stole from his treasured vaults. I was young back then and could not conceive the ramifications of... No! Stanley screamed even louder this time. This is stupid! You are a bucket! But don't talk this to the bucket like so that. stupid! Why are we even doing this? As Stanley screamed and screamed and screamed, the bucket revealed its true form, transforming into a mighty beast of untold power, its fangs glistening like... Did we have a sword fight? Oh my god, Stanley! Bucket! You did it! You saved us from the bucket! Bucket! Thank god you already had all 12 emblems of sages and knew the incantations to summon their true power. Oh. Otherwise, we would have easily been overwhelmed by the bucket's power. I'm speechless. No. You've demonstrated such bravery here no. today. Come, let's restart the game. Bucket. And we'll agree to never again go trifling with this bucket. Bucket! Nor the dark magic cast away inside of it. No. How did it have blood? Yeah. Alrighty, well, lost another bucket. Well, well, Bowie. All right. Next ending. What do we got? We got that. Nope, that's not the wheel. Hold on. Wheel is over here. Spin the wheel. <laughs> oh boy, we're doing the bomb ending, I guess. Okay. Well. Actually, before I do that, I, I know which one this is, but I don't know if, if you can actually win it or if it's just, uh, you, you just kind of play it out. Um... Just in case anyone who's watching this hasn't done this yet, there, it feels like there, it could go one of two ways. Hold on, where'd it go? I think it's this one. Okay, yeah it is, but can you win this ending? It looks like no. Okay, well, that makes it easier. All right, well, now we just get to enjoy the ending. Off we go. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting. Hi, Bucket. I'm glad you're safe. Memo. Oh, hello. Surname Axis. Alrighty then. Or is that Service Axis? No, that's his surname. Okay. So for this one, we actually listen to the narrator for most when of the time. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go Bro up closet. to his... Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here. So he turned around and got back on track. You know, since I've already done this bit to death, I'll just I'll listen this time, I guess. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. <laughs> Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked? Unravel. Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible. Let's go. He didn't even have a single Let's minute go. to just let the narrator talk. Yeah. That kind of anxiety isn't healthy. We've done so this we countless times moments. already. Come With on. Some calming new age music. Oh, fine. I'll dance again. Or I guess sway.
feeling soothed All right, let's and go. rejuvenated, Stanley calmly let's walked go. forward into the opened passageway. Yay. And down we go. <laughs> oh, excuse me. So yeah, I think later today, after I get some sleep, descending deeper into the um, building, Stanley realized I might actually come back and try clear. that fire emblem. It was a stirring demo. of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself. To question the nature of his job. Yeah, I think Why I'm going to just because it says when for years it had uh, the demo will like it'll this carry over your progress. Go unanswered for long. So if it's gonna carry over the progress, then I think Stanley I can walked straight ahead it. through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Sure. Oh wait, there's a secret here that I still have not been able to do. Okay. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Do I push it again? No. Does this close? I guess not. Okay, I guess I just have to turn back. Now the No, but that one closed. Around, their true nature revealed. Ah, damn Each it. Did I miss it again? An employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers, the lives of so many individuals reduced I I to images again. on damn. the screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where ah. freedom meant nothing. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions says, had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Wait before going up, then push, then press light button. But the light button's all the way back there. So do I just wait here? I mean, the light button's all the way over there. Do I... No. No. He well. refused to believe it. Oh, of he course the door opens up after I step in. life in someone else's control? Never. <sighs> it was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? You know what? I'll Had probably just... I'll probably look at his it up later. Utterly uh, blind to the world. If you're curious, it says Stanley Parable Secret Disco. I was trying to make it work, but I guess it, it just didn't. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy, or sad, or content. Walking, eating, working. Mm. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in... Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. Oh, yeah. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. You know, normally I probably would turn off a massive uh, mind control facility. Oh, Stanley. Didn't just activate the controls, did you? I sure now, did. That you enslaved all these years. You go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that yes. what you want? Control? I think that's already a game, Stanley. actually. But sure. I applaud your effort. I really do. But you need to understand. There's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go. Turn the controls off. Dun 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 and dun dun. If you no, want to no, throw like my that. story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. 
In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Mm, uh... Let's say um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we Hit have so button. little time left to Hit enjoy the button. it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious uh, moments okay. each no, one of them one. is. More time to talk about you, uh, about me, sure. where we're going. What all this means, I barely know where to start. Well, I'm gonna go have What's fun. That? You'd like to know where your co-workers are. I didn't say that. A moment of solace before you're obliterated. I literally don't care. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. Ah. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Sounds about right. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Sounds about right. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. <laughs> this damn it. of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go-around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on There's the There's a room up Why there. Not? These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Something like that. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? I'm supposed now? to be dying or right did you now. you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones, or maybe this big red button, or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One sold? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> Stanley... You're in for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. I mean, I guess I won't have to worry pretty soon. Because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. This one? This is not a challenge. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm Isn't that a song? First, so you can't. Or no, it's I don't write tragedies. Take a look at the clock, Stan. God damn it! That's no. Thirty seconds you have left to struggle. Thirty seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending. Just you being blown to pieces. No. Will you cling desperately to your frail life, or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice. Dun 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 dun. Let it. No. Nope. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. Well, and believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say happily ever after. Well, I guess I don't have to worry anymore. The end is never 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 the end. All right, well that one's done. Mm -hmm. Only got a few more left. Besides that one I don't want to do. Until I get a lot of motivation. But alrighty, let's see. What does the wheel say this time? I feel like that's really loud. I hope it's not. Yay, we get to bring the bucket again. I've missed the bucket. Alright, so it looks like we're doing the bucket. Wait a minute, hold on. I think I just realized something. 
Hello, hello. Oh, no, it still picks up my audio. Okay. Well, that's good. Otherwise, I'm just talking to myself for no reason. I mean, that's I talk to myself for no reason most of the time anyways, but you know. The bucket in a gentle bucket! Protective, yet delicate, assertive, yet compassionate. Where Stanley am I going? touched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Oh, the the one I, the one ending I never figured out that one time. But this time with the bucket. I think I hear my cat out there. Yeah. Still, no one was here. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. Perhaps his boss's office was where he'd find answers. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Sure. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed, but Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Something like that. Was it that the bucket knew all along? Was the bucket guiding oh. him? Oh, excuse me. Yes. This is certainly the most logical explanation. Time to go down, down. Haven't made this joke yet. At least in this video. Pretty sure I did earlier. But that was an episode or two ago. Or maybe it was three. The I elevator don't know. raced downward, plummeting towards an unknown fate. It would be all Stanley could do to keep himself together, if not for the bucket. Thank you, bucket. Soothing him, comforting him, reassuring that in this darkest moment of uncertainty, he would be all right. The bucket is here for you, Stanley. Everything will be fine. Or we could just go back up. Wait, Stanley said to the bucket. Can we go back up? <laughs> yes. When I was pressing those keypad buttons, there was something very intriguing about the number three. I want to go back so I can try pressing the number three again. The bucket said nothing. Um, okay. Yeah, I guess we could push the number three. I have not yet pushed the number three, so I mean, we might as well, I guess. Here we are, said Stanley. Now I'm going to try out that number three button. He took the bucket over to the keypad and began absolutely slamming on the number three over and over and Wow, he said. The number three is such a special button, I'm having the time of my life. Stanley looked expectantly at the bucket, but the bucket remained silent. This was a shock to Stanley, who had always felt such a connection with the bucket. How was this not as exciting to the bucket as it was to him? I mean, I'm having a blast. Once Stanley had had enough of the number three, he got back in the elevator. Okay, I'm starting to turn into Stanley. Let's not do that. Perhaps the bucket had missed something. Perhaps it had not seen how much joy Stanley got from slamming the number three repeatedly. I mean, maybe. Ba -na -na -na, ba -na -na -na. Or we go back up. But no, with no, the no, bucket. No, 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 said Stanley to the bucket. You can't go on yet. Not till you understand how much the number three means to me. You and I have been through so much together, and I it's just true. want you to see what I see. Feel the happiness I feel. Yeah, uh, sure. He smiled at the bucket, and the bucket said nothing. You'll understand this time, bucket. Or the next time. Or the time after. Or sometime. I don't know. Why am I still looking to the right? I was facing this... The, the, whatever. Whatever. You know what? Not worried about it. Here we go, said Stanley. This time, I'll really show you. He ran to the number three and began to wail on it like a musician on a beloved... Wail on it! Doing it! Weaving a concerto of truth and passion. 
He wielded the number three like a fine artist would wield a ah, toothbrush. Okay. He told stories through the number three, stories of his <clears throat> dreams and hopes and fears. And the whole time, he looked to his bucket for a reaction of some kind. Anything to let him know that the bucket appreciated what he was doing. Yeah, excuse me. The bucket conveyed absolutely nothing at all. Only silence. Crushed by a wave of dejection, Stanley returned to the elevator. All right, well, guess we'll go back down. Stanley and the bucket were so close, they'd always been there for one another. Why suddenly could the bucket not connect with this passion of Stanley's? Uh -huh. The question caused Stanley to ruminate the whole way down the elevator. He knew that there must be a way to get through to the bucket, mm. to communicate fully with his dear friend. Surely there was a solution, mustn't there be? I'm sure there is. Let me think for a second. Hmm. What if... No. Ooh, but what if... Eureka! I got it. Alright, listen up. Here's what we're gonna do. We're going back up. <laughs> it'll, it'll work this time. <coughs> Excuse me. It's hard to keep a straight face with some of the dumb things I do. <laughs> said Stanley. I know what to do. Oh, really? I know how to fully express this feeling in my heart. He decided right then and there. Are we not worried about the random noise down there? Where he would speak to the public on all matters relating to pressing the number three over and over. Well, third time's the he charm. Would elaborate <laughs> fully on what the number three meant to him and why he felt so alive when pressing it. Then the bucket would be able to see his joy through the eyes of others. It would get to see the world react to this discovery of Stanley's. And it would be through the public eye that the How bucket tall would is finally this building? understand Stanley's work. For months, he advertised and marketed his press conference, building excitement around it, developing and rehearsing it, until it couldn't be refined a single measure further. When the big day arrived, Stanley was as prepared as he'd ever been for anything in his life. Um, narrator, are we actually somehow in Minecraft? I'm pretty sure that was a sound effect from Minecraft. Okay. <laughs> hey, three. 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 This was it. One last three, chance three. to win the bucket over. There's not even a three One in my point to ID, share though. A true connection with a loved three. One. No. I mean, I'm still happy to see a pizza, dude, but it, you don't have a three this time, so I guess I don't care. The Lord plus meet and greet. <laughs> okay. There was no one here. I wonder how you got that kind of Nobody uh, had come to press, the press conference, conference to hear Stanley speak, to listen to him talk about what it really means to press the number three on a keypad over and over. He was unloved, uninteresting. He was a failure. And in that moment, Stanley knew that the bucket would never again take him seriously. There would be no connection, no deeper understanding. The bucket merely sat there in his arms, indifferent. And so it began that slowly, over many years, the two of them grew more and more distant. No. They spoke less and less, neither wishing to state the obvious that any sense of real respect between them had eroded since that day at the press conference. But there there's no, no one here. Games, it's not a press conference. No more long conversations about passion and pursuit. But three. But silence that consume the space between friends. I mean, Final Fantasy III's and Stanley, uh, pretty good. For once in his life, I just hate how many times they take away the airships from you. Uh, Legend of Zelda Three is like one of the most popular Zeldas ever. Of loneliness. Uh, Fire Emblem Three. I don't think I played that one, and I think that was in Japan for the longest time. I'm sure there's other good threes that I can't think of off the top of my head. Eh, okay. 
Alrighty, well that was sad. <laughs> That's another ending down. Alright, what else we got left? Uh, saving that one. Alright, pause. Alright, spinner wheel. Let's see what else we got. And we got... Okay. We still haven't gotten to one of my favorite endings yet, I actually. It's the question mark one, but... Alrighty then, looks like we're gonna go do... Bucket Memorial, whatever that is. Bucket! I can't wait to tell this story to my co-workers, Stanley thought. How amusing they'll find it. Is that the last oh, bucket one? We all just laugh and laugh at the time I thought everyone had gone missing. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it is. It's the last bucket ending. Ah, Stanley's bucket. The only co-worker he would ever truly need. Well, you know what? I think that's okay because the it sounds like this one is going to be... Entered the door on his left. It's probably going to be uh, pretty fitting for the last bucket ending. Is it raining? There's no nature! Okay. Still no one was here. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. Perhaps his boss's office was where he'd come into a staircase. Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. We sure are. Uh, you're not going to just let me Stepping in. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed by the wind, there's no the rain. Luck. Was it that the bucket knew all along? Was the bucket guiding him? Yes, this is certainly the most logical explanation. Or deja vu. Deja vu. I've just been in this place before, higher on the street. And now the song is stuck in my head. Uh, I got uh, pretty much every song I've ever heard is stuck in my head, honestly, though. They just never go out. Sometimes they just come to the front. That doesn't sound good. Oh, where am I? That way. Stanley and the bucket walk straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Nah. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley and the Bucket would both meet a violent death. We go together. The door behind them was not shut. Stanley and the Bucket still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. Tonight, point, Stanley and the Bucket we were dine walking forward into a in really hell. death for each of them. But we have each other, and that's all that matters. Romeo and Juliet! The end is never the end is never the end is never the end. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ow. Pretty sure the fall would probably kill me. That was just straight metal we landed on. Oh, well. As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley and the Bucket inched closer to their demise, Stanley reflected on how meaningless the Bucket's warmth and comfort had turned out to be. Well, damn. Sure, it puts the mind <clears throat> and soul at ease to embrace the Bucket. But what use is a sense of ease when you're about to be crushed to death? I mean, we won't this have to worry Stanley about it. It's going to be instantaneous. He sort of kicked himself for wasting so much time carrying a Bucket everywhere. Farewell, Stanley. My Bucket. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator. 
as Stanley and the bucket were led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Ugh. the bucket's life came to an end no. as it was crushed violently to death. Bucket! It was a shame. This was a missed opportunity. You bucket. should have just had Bucket. It's true that all buckets are radiant in their own way, <sighs> but this one stood above the rest. It was a glorious oh my God. bucket to behold. Yes. Give it to me. Give it to me. I need it. The bucket. Grand exhibit. Oh, my God. <clears throat> you know, screw it. I'll read this. You are standing at the precipice of knowledge. Much like a bucket itself, the human mind is frequently empty within a carnivorous void. But through use of the exhibit in front of you, the mind becomes full and enriched and sustained. Substantiated? Yeah, that one. Sorry, I'm very tired. I've been up for like 20 hours and I'm like half blind. I'm actually like, I don't know, quarter blind technically. Or One of my eyes is perfect and the other is like four off of 20. Something like that. I don't know. Uh, anyway, again, uh, getting distracted. Knowledge of the bucket and its history is the only true knowledge we really have. Will you take what you learn here out with you into the world? Will you accept with an open mind what may be challenging about the information in this exhibit? Will you change the lives of yourself and your loved ones as a result of this exhibit? Or will you turn a blind eye and continue to live as you were in ignorance and darkness? Yeah, probably a bit of both. <clears throat> Nothing back there. Show me the buckets. Can you see how arrogant it was for Stanley to take a bucket like this and to claim it for his own? Can you see the hubris that blinded him? Can you see that the bucket is far more noble than Stanley will ever be in his short life? Um. Now, I've been wrong before. But I, I think that's more than 25. Unless you're pulling that bullshit from earlier with the game show and like only some of these are buckets and others are like 3D copies and other whatever. Uh, bucket, bucket down there. Bucket. Bucket. No? Okay. A bucket with two handles. Um... Yeah. Actually, I think I've seen buckets with two handles before, so I guess not inaccurate. What's up there? I see words up there. Not that I can see what they are. Oh, wait. Stairs. Maybe we'll actually get to go see. Inferno bucket. Ooh. It's just like... Is this going to be a bucket of fire? Harry Potter and the Bucket of Fire. Huh. I don't know. Apparently not. Uh, we'll come back to that in a second. The Stress Bucket. Presented without commentary. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, stress goes into the bucket. Uh, yes. All right, well, that, that makes sense, right? I don't see a problem with you, don't. Cave drawing. You know what? Not gonna lie, I could dance that for a while. But I got other things to do. No man can own a bucket. And certainly not a bucket as dazzling to behold as this one. Now it you say that. It is man who should kneel before the bucket. Here we go. This is where I was thinking. Oh, I know where we had to go next. 
The hanging bucket. This piece sim uh, symbolizes the necessary relationship between bucket and humanity. However clear our grasp of the bucket may be, there is yet more that is always out of reach. This distance, inevitably, is for our own good. You know, I got I gotta say, I never really realized, because, like, I could read really fast and process really fast. R relatively, I guess. But, like, saying it out loud, not quite as fast. And that, uh, that fascinates me a little bit. Maybe it's just because I'm really tired, though. Yeah. All right, well, here we go, I guess. Geromino! Oh. Well. Who put an invisible floor here? I was looking to fall. I bet we fall as soon as I take the bucket. Damn it. We weren't supposed to be able to reach there it. Is something we can do. Something we can do together, uh, you and I, that will right this terrible wrong. Let's stand down. Let him be crushed by the machine. Okay. Don't reset the game. Don't give him another opportunity to run off with another beautiful bucket. We can save the world's buckets from their treatment as tools and implements if only we let Stanley die together. The bucket shall take its place as ruler, as leader, as commander of a new world, a new vision. Ow. Alrighty, well that was the last bucket ending. Fitting. Uh, saving that one. We only got a couple left. And then there's the two that I didn't put down because I'm saving those. Alright, let's see what's next. And it's gonna be... Yeah. <laughs> ah, yes, the question marks. I saved this one for a specific reason. Or it's not that I saved it, I guess, but I named it that way for a specific reason. We're going to go do one of my favorite endings. Someone was following Stanley. He was sure of it. Yeah, probably. If he checked over his shoulder now, he would surely catch them. It was only a matter of time. Yeah, I probably would. When Stanley came to a set of two open nope. doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Yep. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, nope. just to admire it. Nope. The lounge was sublime, a work of art. Yeah. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Yes, we will. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, no. and got back on track. Button. We're going down, down. I already did this bit. I needed to find some new songs that have to do with going didn't down. Want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. Yep. So now in order to get back, he needed to go, um, uh, uh da, 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 da. from here, it's, um, left. Yeah, okay. Oh, no. No. no it's to the right, my mistake. Uh-huh. No, 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 not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? It's clearly... Oh, dear. Would you hold on for a minute, please? Um, sure. Now, let's see. We went down right, left, down, left, right. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. Uh, okay. No, 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 no. This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. We've been Stanley, here so many times. Eyes. Okay, okay, okay. 
we just what the hell happened over there? To, um, oh, who am I kidding? Wait, it's all rubbish now. The whole story what completely happened unusable. there? How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay, from the top. I guess. I guess we'll listen this time. <sighs> Excuse me. There's that lack of All sleep of kicking in. All were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had a memo. We may never meet again, but we'll never forget each other. Goodbye, Bucket. When Stanley... Wait. Uh, wait. What? No, I... No, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over, completely fresh. Everything should be... Or did something change? Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Uh, yeah, I totally did with all those options I had. Hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. I mean, right here just a minute ago. if I I'm ever actually sure sat down and somewhere. wrote stuff okay, and then. got anything it's out, I would be a writer too. Come, Stanley. Let's find the story. Yeah, I, I once wanted to be an author. And actually, uh, I haven't done... I'm, I'm going to be doing a video of kind of like who I am and like, you know, uh, kind of like a channel intro. And uh, one of the things I'll talk about is how for a while I wanted to be an author, but I don't know, after a while I just kind of... Eh. Is it in here? I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you there definitely was a story here before. <laughs> do we Inner guilt. Do we need to restart Everyone knows again? what you did. They're just holding well, back to let you torture we'll yourself. progress by starting over and over again. But it's got to be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. Why not? Wait, no. Uh, but yeah, so for a while, well, uh, growing up, I didn't really know what I wanted to do. I still kind of don't. Um, All I've of kind of been a jack of all gone. trades. What could it mean? Hell, even Stanley in school, decided to go to um, the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Bucket still gone. Even in school, that like, I took a couple of like job aptitude tests or whatever, and I would get right in the middle, and it's just like, you'd be good at just about anything you do. And I'm like, great. That doesn't help me figure out what I'm what I want to do though. Actually, that made it worse. And I don't know. My only constant was that you know. I've been playing games for over 20 years at this point. Okay, uh, it's worse. I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Doors? Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? I might as well. Uh, but at one point in high school, um, actually, I think it would have been junior high, actually. Yeah. Uh, I had started writing down a whole bunch of story concepts and... I was planning to be an author, a fantasy writer, but I just never did. Uh, maybe one day. Uh, Aha! I knew we'd miss something. The story. Here it comes. Uh -oh. Here, wait, never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. Uh oh. Someone's doing some spatial warping again. God damn it. Now this... Well, I'll be honest, I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my Help. story took place in an office building. It, is that correct? Hmm. Do you remember, yeah. Stanley? Yeah. Well, do you know what? But Since I've completely me. forgotten what yeah. we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! Congratulations! Yay! You of hard work, and it really paid off. So, good job. Oh, no. No, I don't feel right about this at all. No, you, you can't take it back. put in any actual work for that win. Some people I put in a lot more work square, than you think. And this was not one of those situations. Okay. 
I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what uh, might happen this time. I have to restart. But this is going nowhere. I think. Maybe. Wink, wink. <laughs> yes! Okay, so yeah, after a while the adventure line shows up, but I didn't realize that they would put the Stanley Parable 2 in the name to re to reflect the to reflect the the ultra deluxe content yes oh my god okay All right. i love I've it i've got a solution this time to make sure we don't get lost <laughs> i've employed the help of the stanley parable adventure uh, it's the stanley parable 2 adventure line. line thank you how simple is that all right here we go following the line uh I'm sure the line doesn't lie. Even though I don't think we've ever been down this way before. You see? The line knows where the story is. Um, it's over in this direction. Yeah. On that Stanley, to destiny. Though, here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Sure. Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Yes, it's called Simply One Piece. by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Okay, Stanley, I need to follow this train of thought for a minute. Just stick with me. Now, we can both agree that the nature of existence is, in fact, a byproduct of one subjective experience of that existence, right? My mental mapping okay. is really now, hurt. Now, if my experience it's of really your hurting. existence rests inside of your subjective experience uh, of this gosh. office... Is this office, in fact, the skeleton of my own relative experiential mental subjective construct? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. That got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to... I wasn't even that. listening. Sorry. I'm not sure where I was going with all that. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. Here it comes. da 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 Da, 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 what the hell is going on? Uh, why are you on the walls? And how did you get on the ceiling? I don't care, just moving on. We're gonna go on adventure. Man, this place is really trashed. Hope they don't ask me to clean it. Da, 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 Just made a noise. Looks like it's the door. Wait, what? That's not how that went. Uh, wait, what? Uh, uh, the reality's broken. I'm starting to lose my sanity again. Da -da 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 -da. Wait, what? How did this event just happen? And now it's fixed. What is going on? Help, I'm even more confused. Is it back the way that went to bed? Hello? Wait. Moving on, I have no time. Let's go on adventure again. Cut the music. Wait, why? Go back and look at that fern. Stanley, this fern will be very important later in the story. Yeah. Make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. You won't want to miss anything. Uh, yeah, I'm going to study it real closely. <laughs> Wait, what? We're back at the office? Um, no. no. Yeah. No. Line, you do know we're looking for the Stanley parable, right? The story? Is any of this ringing a bell? Sure. Okay, I know it wants me to go out there, but I, there was another way it goes. Where does that go? Oh, God, that fucks with my mental mapping so much. 
I don't think there's any secrets that way. Okay, well, we'll just follow the line back to the other way. Oh, no, 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 not again. Line, how could you have done this to us? But after we trusted you, after everything we've been through... What you... happened to oh, the... I can't take this anymore to Boy, hell two, three, four. Restart. No! Ugh. Oh, where'd the Stanley Parable 2 adventure line go? Damn it. Yeah. You know what, Stanley? Oh, I hi. say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? Uh, We're intelligent people, right? Broke space and time. Story? Something exciting, Pretty sure I went down a group of pillars and then Ooh, it this all stuff happened. Doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in, well, I don't know. How about this direction? Uh, okay. Now, yes, this is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? Go wild. Use your imagination. God damn it. Quit it warping be, Stanley, the space. I'm ready for it. Okay. I, I'm usually really good about keeping track of, like, where I've been and kind of general directions oh, no, and stuff, not you but, again. Like, they keep Stanley, warping the building. I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it, and we should be fine. Can I have the music back, though? I actually do really like that. Da-da-da-da-da-da-da. What the ah, hell? A choice. We get to make a decision. From here, the story is in our control. Uh, okay. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. You do Let's that. Just walk in circles for a minute. Um. Okay. So I know that each door has to lead somewhere, which means that somewhere at the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. And that, in turn, means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Um. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. Uh, that might make sense if you're quoting the at the beginning of the story you said take the door on the left I guess but I'll be honest I wasn't paying attention to your talking I was focusing on going the reverse way of the arrows yeah well oh hold up what's this hmm hmm the confusion ending confusion ending. ending this is why I named it qu uh, question marks it's all one giant ending and we're supposed to restart the game what, eight eight times <laughs> that's really how all this goes it's all determined yep so now according to the schedule i restart again then what am i just supposed to forget apparently or what if i don't want to forget my mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this this thing wall well who consulted me why don't i get to decide <laughs> find a bookstore get, get bored and leave this. is it really no, it can't be. I, I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game. Hey, why don't we go try the seventh restart? That could be fun. What's going on? Wander in the black space like and then eventually find a bookstore. I'll take I won't it. Won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. But but the bookstore. And the timer to stopped. Does that mean? Uh oh. Are we future diarying? Future diary ing the, this? Um, whatever it is that made this schedule. Did we just escape How a dead end? No. Will someone come for us? Uh, Did something happen? Attempt to make a st up a story so, here. Okay. I guess now we just wait. You know, I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story. Wouldn't you agree? Uh, sure. I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, I mean, I'm we? just sitting on my I'm ass saying. here, but yeah, journey. Well, in the meantime, if you... Ow. That was a little loud in my ear.
Okay. Is this completely brand new? Am I stuck on a path? And there's the bucket. Either way, I can't bring the bucket with me, I guess. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. All right, well, it looks like we're on a new thing. And uh, even though this is just a formality, I'm going to say let's just spin the wheel one more time just for shits and giggles. All right, what are we going to get? Looks like it's going to be... Cold feet. Okay. Well, not quite how I expected this one to go, or what the last ending to be. Uh, ignoring the epilogue and the other ending, but. All right, here we go, I guess. Cold feet. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Yeah, something like that. Standing now in this incredible room, Stanley for the first, but eager to nah. get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Why, you mean that door? Yeah. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Oh, well, look who's got cold feet. Sorry to break it to you, Stanley, but that lift isn't coming back. You'd best either get comfortable right here on this platform, or test your luck by jumping to the floor below. You know what? Looking at it now, it's not that far to the bottom floor. I bet you can make it. Uh, if I could land on those trucks. I played a game where if you Come land on, on the... I'm sure you'll survive the jump. Don't tell me you're scared. That's not the Stanley I know. Do it! 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 I can't remember what game I was playing, but there's a game where if you land on a car, like, you won't take any fall damage. Dying Light. I was playing Dying Light. Well, Dying Light 2. You know, just to make a point, I bet if I go this way, maybe I'll survive. Whoops. Looks like I was wrong. How clumsy <laughs> of me. I don't know. I feel like that shouldn't directly kill me, depending on what was in the boxes. All right, well, that one's down. Dead confusion, dead cold feet. All right, so now, uh, not counting the art ending, because that one takes four hours, and I'm saving that for, like, a hundred uh, follower or subscriber special. Uh, there is another one I haven't done yet, the museum, but I'm saving that for the end end. Let's see if we can get the epilogue. Uh, it looks like it just says it should happen from the main menu, I guess. I don't know. It says to get the epilogue, you got to unlock the bucket, which we have. Collect all six figurines, which we did. Restart at least five times. Now, does that mean I have to restart? Or... Uh, they, like, does each ending count? I don't know. Maybe I have to restart five times. Oh, actually, there's another ending you can get after the epilogue, This is the apparently. story. All right, well, there's one reset. Let's just do this then and see if this works. And then there's two. And there's blue. And um, that's three.
Uh, reset number four. And reset number five. All right, did this change anything? This is at least five times, maybe maybe after five. Let's just try six real quick, I guess. Yeah, I have the bucket, got all the figurines, and now I've reset six different times. All Epilogue! Of his were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I guess... God damn it. Hold on, let me let me see what I'm doing wrong here. Internet, help me out, please. What am I doing wrong? Uh, let's see. Once certain conditions have been fulfilled, an option to play the epilogue will appear from the main menu. Uh, like the very first menu? I'm not seeing nothing. All right, well, I'm not doing something right. Maybe I gotta restart the game, I don't know. We could try that, I guess. No? All right. Well, let's restart the game, see what happens. I don't know, according to the internet, I guess this epilogue is not like a true ending, it's just something that you can get. Uh, it said to do my favorite time. Um, I don't know. Sure, we'll just make it 8 p.m., I guess. Sounds about right. Ah, 8 p.m., your favorite time of day. Sure. Or could you simply not resist giving me the correct time again? After all, I know how much you enjoy setting the time correctly. <laughs> uh, sure. Sure. how accurate 8 p.m. is. Let's use another slider to find out. Uh, I mean, it's 8 p.m. somewhere. <laughs> oh, good. You're collecting data. Yay. More sliders. I'll take a buffalo chicken slider. That sounds good. Uh, sure, why not? I'm trying to find an epilogue, but you know. Whatever's good. 
Should be ready by the time you boot up the game. Next time you boot up the game. Maybe I gotta do this. Maybe I gotta do this first. Wait a minute. Restart at least five times. Oh, they probably want me to restart the game five times. Uh, shit. That's what, three? Okay. Uh, you can see some other games here on my Switch. Uh, eventually, I'll probably play them. Actually, I'm going to do the Fire Emblem Warriors demo later, for sure. Um, at least start that. I don't know how far the demo will let me go, but, you know. I really enjoyed Three Houses, so let's see how well Three Hopes does. I didn't hate the first Fire Emblem Warriors, but, like, it just didn't feel like it had enough. It was fun and all, but I, I don't know. For how many characters Fire Emblem has, it just... It, I felt like Warriors needed more. Uh, please adjust the slider until the computer is fairly visible. Nope, I'm gonna leave it. <laughs> well... Please adjust the slider until the cat and the dog and the cat are friends. Um, I don't, I don't know. Is one heart friends? If I do it like that, is that unrequited love? And that's love. I don't know, I guess that one? Sure. Please adjust the slider until the number five comes to number nine. <laughs> God damn it. Now there's three nine options. There's this one. There's this one. And there's that one. Well... Since, since we, uh, since, you know, I've said many times how much I love Final Fantasy, I think I know which one I'm going to go for. Roman numeral. Please adjust the slider until you stop adjusting the slider. Oh, God. Uh, okay. You know, screw it. I'm going to leave it at the back. Which of the two made-up words below is most appealing to you? Occuboinkle or Scrumptush? I feel like I like Occuboinkle more. Yeah. Please don't adjust the slider. Okay. Do I know what time it is right now? Probably not. Is the time that it is right now the correct time? I, I mean, that depends. Are you asking, is the time that it is right now the correct time? Because technically, always yes, then. Because if the, you know, the, whether I know what it is or not, it's always the correct time it is. So, it, yes. What is time anyway? Uh, no. Is there anything about yourself that you haven't told me? Uh, well, I was saving this for uh, a separate video, but... Actually, no, I'll still save it for that video. Um, eventually, I'm going to bridge my life, kind of just let people know who I am, what my life has been, kind of things I believe, you know, yada yada, why not? Um, so, yeah, yeah, there is. Help. No. Will you come back to visit me? Yeah, eventually. I might not help, but I'll come back and visit. I mean, sometimes I help, I guess. Eh, it just means. Well, that was fun. Alright, now we gotta do one more, I guess. Mm. Oh, my neck is killing me. Oh.
Epilogue. Is there an epilogue now? What time is it? Um. <laughs> Does anyone really truly know? At least two people, yeah. Of course, they have. nobody knows anything. I mean, also kind of true. You and I don't even know each other. We're like strangers. I mean, we're all strangers, though. We're all very strange. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I mean, I work a night job, so, you know. The job is over. No. Oh. Damn it, you're leaving me too. First the bucket, and then that other time, and now this. Yeah, I guess I don't know you. I mean, I got the time over there, but I don't think that's going to count for what you want. Um, sure. <laughs> uh, yeah, that sounds about right. Oh. Now that's not true. I'll have you know, I'm streaming this right now. Apparently there's at least one person watching me right now, and, uh, more will probably watch later at their own convenience. So, ha. You like being alone, don't you? Uh, I mean, no, but yes, but also no. Like, so, so it's, it's not that I like being alone per se. It's more, because like on a fundamental, I don't really like humanity, at least modern humanity. There are a lot of people in the world that I that are just not very humane or just not good people. And there's also a lot of people that, you know, ignore others just because they're trying to live their own lives, which I can't really fault them for. I mean, getting involved means, you know, ha usually means having to sacrifice something in a fight that eventually means nothing in the end, I guess. But, like... I don't know. I just don't really care for modern humanity. So I'm a hermit mostly, but at the same time, I want to be the change. I, I'm, I try to be the change I want to see in the world. I want to try to bring a little more laughter. I want to try to bring humor back. I want to, I like to make people smile, but I feel like I can only spend so much time around people before eventually I get tired of it. And like, let's say there's like a, a like an energy tank, I guess, and like spending time interacting with people depletes it from that tank a bit. But like the more uh, aggressive, annoying, selfish, just kind of more more negative a person is, the more that tank drains faster, I guess. So it's just like, eventually once that tank runs out, I'm just kind of like, I'm done with people, I guess. But I don't, it's not that I like being alone per se. It's more, I want to try to be around people more like me. I guess. I'm, as much as I like to try to make people laugh, and as much as I, I can blend into a crowd of people... I've always just kind of been an outsider and like an exception to the rule. And you know what? I'm okay with that. That's who I am. Uh, at least in this life, you know, there, I, there's, you know, a possibility of other lives I've had, but that's a whole another discussion probably for that video I'll make later. But ultimately, do I like being alone? No, but I, if, I'm going to be around people. It, it has to be people I want to be around, I guess. 
If I don't have a choice, then I would want to be alone, I guess. But if I have a choice of who I get to be around, then no. Yeah, it sounds about right. I don't know. Leave it there. That's maybe the only information I really learned about. <laughs> well, hey, it's the first time you got me to stop and actually legitimately answer. So there you go. No, don't leave. I hope you find my first bucket. It's still one more setting to adjust. You know what? I'll try to find you again. But we'll see. Goodbye, random text. Is it time for epilogue? I think it's time for epilogue. Epilogue is here. Finally. <sighs> Alright, let's see what the epilogue is. Many, many years later... Oh, goodness. Hey, wait, I remember this place. This was from the, the skip button thing. Guess I'll just uh, keep on walking. I can't tell. Is there dirt on my screen, or is that just the TV? I think it might just be the TV. Oh, hi. Okay. Oh, hello there. Moon. Da -na 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 -na. Da -na 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 -na. Oh, okay. Oh god. Say a star. Chair. Oh. Other chairs. What? Do I follow the wind? Does nothing really matter? Moon! Reyna, are you up there? And Zodiac? Oh, well, not anymore. Where did Moon go? Moon! Come on, I'm sure I could probably make at least two more Final Fantasy XIV references somewhere. Oh no, the memory zone! What happened? Are you gonna actually let me make it there? Or? Looks like a definite maybe. How do you have power? Okay, you know what? I'm too tired to care. Hello? Narrator? You're not the narrator. What am I getting notifications of? The weather. Thanks, weather. I could look outside if I felt like moving the curtain. Hello? Oh, good. Cookie Nine's uh, back. <laughs> Man, there's just no pleasing Cookie Nine, apparently. Okay. What's down here? Hey, 
Hey, here's the skip buttons. Or no, it's the gym buttons. Gym. 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 Alrighty then. No more spin-offs, no more sequels. Okay. I can live with that. <laughs> oh, good. More figurines. Can I collect these? Yes, I can. We're, we're now at 26 out of 6. I... Okay. Nico, whenever you watch this again, I hope that doesn't make your brain explode. What's down here? Hello? Oh, okay, we're back here. There's something back here, is it just shiny? Wait, what about the other areas? Hey! You know, I'm, it's nice to see you too. I was just thinking about you. Ah, uh, you know what though, that's life. Sometimes there's just never another Stanley Parable game. I, y you know what? That's their choice to make, though. No, no. You know what? That's fine. If they want to follow some other cre uh, artistic creation, vision, something, whatever, words. Words I could probably think of if I haven't been up for 22 hours at this point. Jesus Christ. I need to go to bed at some point. <laughs> Shit. I mean, it's probably sacred to some people. No, don't do that. We don't need another Call of Duty. Ugh. They're the reasons Medal of Honor went away, pretty much. No. No, that's not good. Look, just because there are a bunch of money companies out there that try to use games to make money doesn't mean you gotta do that. Actually, where, yeah, where is the narrator? Dun, 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 dun. Let it burn. Uh-oh. Now, don't, now, don't get me wrong. As a possible champion of the fire crystal and someone whose favorite element is fire, I love fire. I don't know if this is the time for it. Stanley Parable 3. I mean, I got nothing else to do, I guess. <laughs> really dumb subtitle. Oh, God. What are we doing here? Uh, okay. Ah. <sighs> uh. The Stanley Parable 3, uh, oh god, what, what am I going to do? Uh, something with fire for sure. Uh, I got to pick something like this first. Uh, the Stanley Parable of 3. A new kind of fire. Yep, you know what? There we go. Stanley Parable 3, a new kind of fire. Beautiful. Every time we restart the game, we'll have based on number by one. Oh, God. Oh, no, really? That's actually hilarious. Hmm. <sighs> It'll be the same content, but with a new title screen. Oh, my God. Uh, should we go forward? Do I actually have a choice? Oh, my God. Oh, no. What do we do? Uh... 
Wait, wait, no, I hold on. I got the I got the perfect solution. Hold on. Wheel. All right, wheel. I'm letting you decide. All right, we're doing it, I guess. The wheel says yes, so I guess we're going to do it. Then it's agreed. A new sequel every time you start the game. All righty. All right, what are you giving me? Oh, yeah, I completely forgot about that broken achievement. <laughs> this this is how we fix it after all this time the achievement machine is all fixed oh okay oh do i gotta go find the uh the expo again uh, i don't remember how to get there <sighs> yeah, excuse me It can only spiral in on itself forever. Keep the wheel turning. Are you ready? Great, there's only one last thing we need to do. Please enter the current time. God damn it. Uh, it is... Nine... 9.38. Wasn't it just 8.38 the last time I put this in? Until the computer is barely visible. I'm going to leave it. <laughs> is that it? <laughs> what the shit? <laughs> Oh, I am, I am too tired for this. But you know what, I'm going I'm to take a picture of that car comes back. Ah, hold on, I could have done better. Let me get a better one. Yeah, that works. Okay. Uh, well, <laughs> I guess this has been the Stanley or er, Stanley Parable Two, and Ultra Deluxe, and technically one. And I guess uh, here's the title screen of Stanley Parable Three: A New Kind of Fire. What does that mean? I don't know. Uh, no, not including. Not including the one uh, ending that is the four hour long mini game. There is actually two more on here, but man, I'm really tired. Uh, I could probably knock them out though, actually. Ah, screw it. You know what? Screw sleep. I'll get, I'll get sleep later. I'll make it work somehow. All right, here we go. We're going to play New Kind of Fire. And we're going to get the two endings that I'm missing. Uh, one, I'm still saving for the end, so I guess we're going to go... Uh, let's see. Oh, okay. Actually, we get to get All the bucket again one more time. Gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Fuck it. Is Stanley without the bucket really Stanley at all? No. No, surely not. And now that we have the bucket, we can go in the oh, new content again. New content? What does that mean? New content. It means new content, but with the bucket. Thank you 
for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. You're welcome. As you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. Yeah, we've done this already, After actually. After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, <laughs> delighting audiences the world over. More game. Please, step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Okay. Oh, this sounds delightful. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new oh, Ultra you. Deluxe content. Wait, Stanley. I've just now realized that bucket you're holding. It's the bucket I've been working on for my sequel. Yeah. How did you get your hands on it? Uh. Isn't this the pre Time shenanigans. Sequel? How do you have the bucket already? This this makes no sense at all. A lot and a lot of time shenanigans. Hold Don't on. even worry about did it. Did I already show you my ideas for the sequel? Also, yes. I don't remember doing that at all. You're seeing things all out of order. Yep. All right, all right, let's see, it's the jump circle. Still can't jump. Well, they never really gave you any more jumps after that. those the jumps. Are hell, the giant door, did you see them already? Uh, yeah. Stanley, none of them are ready yet, I'm still developing them. They're not even close to finishing. The infinite I hole had uh, puppies at one them? point. Were they captivating? Were they exciting? Did they fulfill there was the promise of everything that a sequel to Stanley Parable could possibly be? Had I, I figured out how the hell to make a sequel to this game? Uh, to, uh, I mean, to be fair, we're playing Stanley Parable 3 at this point. I'm still waiting for the new kind of fire here. Wait, if you're still carrying the bucket around with you, if the bucket is interesting to you, that means uh, I uh, must have made me. it correctly. Yes. You carrying the bucket with you everywhere is exactly what I set out to accomplish. The bucket is it. the exciting and captivating new content that I promised. I did it! I win! I made a sequel to the Stanley Parable! Yay. Yes, the science group. Thank you for enjoying the new content. Thank you for taking the bucket everywhere with you. Yes. Staying tightly to the bucket, never letting it go. I'll never let you go, it Bucket. Means I am victorious over the gamers. It is a sweet salve of victory on my soul. Thank you for enjoying the new content. The bucket is the Stanley Parable now. They are one and the same. There is no Stanley Parable without the bucket. I win. 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 Is that it? Is that all that was? That was short. Is that actually it, though? <laughs> no, I guess so. All right. All right. Yeah, I guess we'll, we'll just knock these out then real quick. All right. Well, not including the four-hour minigame, which I'm saving for someday. Uh, there's only one left. And actually, I already did this uh, ending earlier. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply um, missed a memo. When did I do it? When Stanley came Oh, out, yeah, I think it was like the first doors, episode, or maybe it's the second. The on his um, my little brother, one of my little brothers showed up for a stream, and um, we actually did the ending. Yet there was not a single person here under. Uh, but we Feeling didn't stay, stick around to, like, look Stanley decided and explore to go up to his uh, the ending office. itself. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's yeah, office. I'll just show you when we get here. I'm trying to talk when I'm very sleepy. It's not working, apparently. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked? Unraveled, Stanley wondered in Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible. Come on, we've already done this. Just let me just in. Let the narrator talk. That kind of anxiety is no, perfect. I'm sleepy. So relaxed for a few moments with some calming new age music. No, you're gonna put me to Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, 
Stanley calmly I was awake. Into the opened passageway. Yeah, come on, let's go. Gotta go fast. Ah, I suppose one last time. We're going down, down. <laughs> Descending deeper into the building, yeah, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Well, either that or he's having a heart attack. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control nope. Facility. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. To be fair, I think some would uh, argue a violent death is a kind of the escape. The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. Or that death in general, At I guess, could point, be an escape. Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. Uh, yep, this last ending that I technically already got, but I'm gonna get again. Man, it's hot in here. Phew. Again, landed on metal. That probably should have killed me. As the machine whirred into motion, how did I survive that fall, but not the fall in the loading his dock his on the box? He reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. I, Stanley can't I, see the bigger uh, picture. He doesn't know the real story trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. And so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief How is this able to life. close completely flat when there's a line there? I just realized. You would need little indents to make room for the line. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone okay. in his body, killing him instantly. Anyway, the Stanley parable. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? Yeah, excuse me. When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? So this is a little museum of the, uh, that kind of has like everything. Uh, I probably won't stop to read stuff, but I'll stop long enough that when uh, this goes up on YouTube, you can like pause the video and read whatever you would need to. Uh, but nature paintings, Stanley's computer, uh, office layout, go ahead and pause it for reading. Some doors, computers. The two doors. Go ahead and pause. Corridor. Go ahead and pause. I'm just going to keep saying that. It just makes it easier for watching. Filing cabinets. Or watching later. Button sounds. Oh wait, those are actually make sounds. Oh. Alrighty. Uh, pause. Put the credits here. Pause. 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 Also, thank you, Kevin Brighting, for being a wonderful narrator. Uh, pause. 
pause. Office. Maintenance room. Uh, it just says early version of the maintenance room. Don't really need to pause for that one, I guess. What is behind here? Copier. Uh, you might be able to read the big letters, but everything else looks like gibberish. Oh boy, fun! What the? There was never an ending where with a bunch of money in Stanley's office. That's bullshit. Uh, war zone. Go ahead and, uh, let's see. I'll just put it straight on. Screw it. Uh, pause. That would have been neat to see, though. Uh, a lot more stuff. Narrator emails. Pause. I right, can barely see that. Okay, pause now. I don't know how long these go on for, and honestly, I'm really tired, so, um, I bet you could probably just Google the narrator emails and, uh, read them all at your leisure. Early version of the lounge. That's really empty. Oh, I was gonna say, what the hell's making that noise? Uh, pause. Pause. Yeah, that would have been an interesting cargo lift to have. Pause. Pause. Obey, disobey, lounge, maintenance, first choice. Interesting stuff. Wait, there was there a vent in the maintenance? I don't think there was, right? Do I really have to go back and look? I'm so tired, though. <laughs> Uh, pause. 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 I do not recognize that place at all. Yeah, excuse me. Pause. Uh, uh oh, am I lost? I hope not. Pause. Yeah, as I go through and look at all this stuff, this game really has been a lot of fun. Uh, we'll come back to here, because that's where we're supposed to go. So at what point did we get turned around? Somewhere over here, I think, right? No? Alright, well, I guess we'll here real quick. Pause. Now then, this elevator for sure would get him right back on track to where he was supposed to be in the store. Where were all of his... You did a great job, Kevin. Thank you for... Being a wonderful narrator. Pause. Oh, I guess you don't need to. That one's pretty quick. Um, yeah, honestly, Kevin Brighting did a fantastic job narrating. Sorry that I was kind of an asshole to the narrator most of the game. <laughs> uh, boss's office. Oh, okay. Now we're getting back. Uh, I think I took every path from here, right? Is there an option I could have picked and didn't? Yeah, because I went that way. But then that just takes me... 
Okay, that's the way out, I think. So we'll go this way. Uh, pause. Alright, so from left to right, it started as that. And that apparently became that. And apparently it did as that. So, nice progression there. Uh, tried not to miss anything. I think I saw that. Uh, pause. I'm going to get a little closer. Now pause. Uh, yeah, broken office. That looks really broken. Okay, so from here. Came from there, but then we went down that way. But I didn't look at all the things. No. Okay, so freedom ending. I did not get that first. Also, I, I guess pause if you really wanted to. Countdown desk. Pause. Neat. Uh, countdown room. Early version. Cool. Uh, and then... Okay, so that's the way out. So then... Um, pause. But yeah, honestly, this game's been a lot of fun. Oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Yeah, turn off. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But listen to me. You can still save those two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Turn off your Nintendo Switch. There's no other way to beat this game. No. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and it'll be your only true choice. No. Nope. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time... I let time choose. Hehehe. <laughs> Alrighty, well, with that, I've gotten all the endings, except for the one that takes four hours, but again, as I keep saying, I'm, I'm saving that for later, eventually. But, the end is never the end is never the end is never the end is never the end is finally here. But, before we say goodbye, there's one last thing I want to do. I don't know if I have to actually restart the game to, to do it. I was going to just do a Stanley Parable 4, but honestly, I feel like leaving it here. So, you know what? Thank you for watching the Stanley Parable 3. Uh, that was a new kind of fire. Uh, there was fire somewhere in there, I hope. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. <laughs> uh, no, but seriously, though, this the Stanley Parable is a lot of fun. Like, to have a choose-your-own-adventure game be so fleshed out. And like have so many different variety of endings and whatnot. It's fantastic. And I even coming back to this game after all these years. Okay, car, you're being loud. I just I'll turn you off. Oh my god, it's ten already. Shit. I need to go to bed. <clears throat> but yeah, so you know what? Uh, Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Loved it. Took everything from the first game and just just made it even better. Uh, Cookie Nine, I don't know who the hell you are, but I I some go get your taste checked out. I guess I I don't know. I mean, I guess technically everyone's taste buds are you know all different. So if you didn't like this, go find something you do like. I suppose technically, but um, this has been Leon playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Leon is very tired. He's probably been up for like 23 hours or something now. I don't know. I stopped counting after a while. When did I sleep? I don't know. I need to go to bed is the point. So <laughs> with that, you guys have a great day. Uh, to whoever was watching me, thank you. To anyone who watches this later, I uh, hope you have a good day yourselves. And until next time, take care. Bye, Internet. 
I gotta go to bed.